Hey, stop it. No. No! Stop it! This is important! Don't do this! <laughs> I've been playing this ever since you went upstairs. So I like touch screen computers. No, please. <laughs> the power of a CRT. Never forget. Never forget about it's time to bring the rig to life. Uh. I didn't bring two power supplies, so I had to pull one from Adele here, so now I have two weird power supplies. That red and blue kind of goes together, don't it? Oh, God, no, no. That's my base extent. That's my, by, by, by my port tuning lower so I can hear the low bass. Sacrifice yes. loudness for lows. I'm going on my normal set. Fuck your Skype account. Oh god, no, just just look at your resolution. Set it to 720p or 1080p. So yeah, my mouse driver loads, right? I, hey, hey, hold a second. Shut, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm doing some video shit right here. So yeah, my mouse driver loads up, and um, oh hey, look, you finally booted. God. I don't give a fuck about Windows 10. Okay, so yeah, my mouse driver loads up. And uh, I can use it in P brush, but if I go into Windows, I hope to God I get proved wrong here. It'd be really nice if I got proved wrong I'm here. Not texture quality. Hi. Come on, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong that I'm having problems with my mouse. Prove me wrong, damn it. No cursor, not a good sign. Uh, anybody watching this video, if you know what to do about Windows not detecting the mouse cursor, I know on Windows 3.1, if you install with no mouse, you don't get a mouse, and I don't know how to bring it back, but all of a sudden, I no longer have a mouse in Windows. I tried messing around with the settings of COM port 1, but, uh, n no look. Uh, I made it bigger. But if I open up PBrush, oh. yeah, I didn't type in my password right, I must have put the wrong one in. I really care so little about Windows 10. I hate you, Microsoft. Hey guys, it smells. Hey guys, it smells pretty awful in here. I just blew out my power supply, my big power supply. I was actually in the BIOS trying to figure out why my SAS controller wasn't working. All the lights in the room start uh, flickering, and I hear a buzzing sound. And I flip my power bar, and there is just smoke pouring out of this thing. But and uh, I don't even know. Oh, it, it is pretty damn hot in the bottom, but. I was pushing it to its limit and it's really hot in this room. You know, when I got this thing, one of the things I said was, okay, well, this is ridiculous. It comes with a carrying case for the power supply and the cables. Who is going to be just casually carrying around a 1300 watt power supply and not have it in a case? Well, I guess I was that person because I blew up my power supply and I still wanted to do gaming this weekend, so I took the power supply out of the SR2. When I say out of, I mean away from. But yeah. Now, this is now my second highest wattage power supply behind this is 200, uh, 240 watts. So I think I need a new power supply. Also, believe it or not, this thing actually got pretty toasty on the adventure. Uh, uh, you know, and it was doing the same thing that 650 watt power supply was running. But, I guess there is one little thing to consider. I was running in a room that was over 100 degrees. Because, I was in my cousin Steven's room. He has a gaming rig in it, which is a souped up old school server. When I say old school, I'm talking like, you know, Pentium D era. It's an 8 core system. Uh, 32, uh, 20, 24 gigs of RAM. And, you know, then I have my HP server there. Two L5506s. The uh, HP Z800 uh, motherboard and a 300 watt GPU. And we were really cooking it up in that room. And, you know, they got no AC in the house. Steven's bedroom's on the top floor. And, um, you know, we got two computers in there pumping out a lot of heat. I'm using a CRT monitor. He's using a CRT monitor and a CRT TV. Uh, his main monitor is actually a uh, TV. 1080p CRT. Figured we could do a little comparison of how far along things have come. 2005, 650 watts. 2000 and I don't know, probably 14, 15, something like that. 1300. 
This thing is uh, not exactly a small power supply. I guess it's thinner, but it's, I don't think it's enough. It, it certainly weighs a hell of a lot more than this thing. I actually never thought I'd kill it. I think it would have been fine, but it normally I have a, a 300 watt power supply running parts of the computer and this one running mostly the graphics card and maybe a part of uh, the CPU and the motherboard, but I have the RAM and the other motherboard 12 volts powered by something else. But I uh, just had to take on the full power of the computer and I just had another one running just another power supply that was just running hard drives because it was too weak. And uh, the fact that it was, uh, we're working in a room that was uh, 100, pushing 100 degrees probably is part of what made it really go up in smoke. Also, I will have to test this power supply. Although it may have had smoke pouring out of it, the computer never lost power. I pulled the plug. It was on when I pulled the plug. And it was about 10 seconds of... <laughs> so, it's probably going to work when I turn it on, but I don't know if I trust it. I'm curious if it's still going to buzz and spark when I turn it on. You know, I'm always changing my rig anyways, and uh, it's not always because I have money. Sometimes it's parts I've laying around. Just was a hard drive bay from an old Acer server that had SCSIs, but... With a little bit of adapting, I now can have my hard drives where I can just s slide them in and plug them in. It's and uh, it's a one if I want to take uh, my computer somewhere else and I want to use my fast drive, I just slide that out, plug the cables in, and it cools them. And this thing need, the hard drives don't need much air, when to, no, much air to cool them, and this doesn't need much air to cool it. So these two fans are running together, having the voltage, making them run six volts instead of twelve, so I don't hear them. Because this is meant to be used in a passive cooling system, but because this isn't in a case, there's no air. Because, you know, this is meant to be in a blade server. And these hard drives, are, these high-performance hard drives, aren't meant to just sit in the air. And I used to have a fan just sitting here blowing air on them, but, uh, yeah, the, I kept knocking it over. got on my nerves. And this is how I'm communicating with older computers. My power supply is pretty great, and I do use it quite a bit like it is pretty damn necessary I have this thing but there is one thing I don't like about it it seems they thought SATA connectors were more important than Molex connectors um, for the USB power I have my Berg connector running over here and uh, apparently I have my uh, six pin for the uh, PCI Express slots because that's right this thing doesn't have enough power to power the, all the PCI Express slots and only the first two or three I think can be powered unless you have a six pin going over here and um, so yeah, that my two six pins go over here, and then my four pin goes straight in. The, uh, blah, 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 blah. Six pin over here, and there's a uh, bird going in the motherboard that gives the flop, uh, the USB more power. And um, so yeah, uh, that means and there's only it only comes at two Molex uh, things. So the rest of it's here. Now, you know, the funny thing is I'm using it. You got to think your CD-ROM drive. Usually those are IDE, and usually they run in Molex. Uh, SATA hard drives will use SATA connectors, but uh, I don't use SATA because I don't like SATA. I can get a, a SAS drives a lot cheaper that are a lot faster. So, uh, I know, I know I'm still using 6 gigabit a second, which, you know, SATA can still do that, but you can't get a 15K SATA drive. And, uh, don't even, don't even say SSDs because those things are super expensive and not very big. I can get these things used 20 bucks. And there's uh, 300 gigs. Something else I felt very strange about my power supply is it came with this. Normally when I'm trying to test a power, test something and I'm testing off a power supply, I uh, jump, a, jump a paper clip or something or just some random wire into the, um, uh, the you know, to the green to the ground. But th th this thing actually comes with one. Which seems kind of strange because who's going to use a 1300 watt power supply for testing? This thing, I actually agree, is pointless. I might use it on a weaker power supply, but that was expensive! I'm not using it as a testing power supply! This video is part one because part two is probably going to come on the weekend where I take a computer I don't care about and run into this power supply and hook it up to the shed and see if it goes to smoke itself out. And if it doesn't work, I'm letting it burn up to the fuse pops or this thing catches on fire.